This is how Saitama will be defeated in One Punch Man. If you guys know anything about Saitama, you find it very hard to believe that anything at all can defeat our favorite cape, Baldi. He's stronger, faster, and more durable than literally anybody in the entire series, and no one comes close. We even saw in the battle between Saitama and Garo that matching him blow for blow and straight up copying his strength is still not enough to defeat him. Seeing as how Saitama's power can literally grow exponentially much faster than anybody else's could. With that being said, you're probably asking how the hell can he be defeated then well make sure you stick around until the end of this video so you can learn exactly how because believe it or not one the creator of one punch man has already dropped some subtle hints as to how this is going to happen eventually in the story so let's get right into it so as i stated at the top of this video there's literally nobody in the one punch man world that can hold a candle to saitama in terms of strength and durability we have seen no possible way that he can be affected physically at least on the outside side of his body, meaning that an old fashioned blow for blow battle simply will not work against him. Well the key to defeating Saitama then has to be by affecting him internally instead of externally. Well what do you mean by this is probably what you're thinking, and I'll tell you my friend. But first this video is brought to you by NordVPN. Now I'm sure as a One Punch Man fan that's been waiting to get a season 3 for what feels like a lifetime now, you likely scour the internet for every little bit of new One Punch Man that you can get your hands on. For example, I I wanted to rewatch season 1 and 2 for like the 15th time while I've been traveling, but the area I was in didn't have either season on my favorite streaming service. This is where NordVPN comes and saves the day because being a virtual private network, you get an encrypted IP address that lets you set your location to anywhere in the world and stream thousands of shows you otherwise wouldn't have access to safely. I mean, it even has an ad blocker feature that lets you watch your favorite videos without any of those annoying pop-ups. This alone should make you want to click the link in my description to get NordVPN right now so you can get four extra months with a two-year plan. What's an even bigger game changer for me though is the fact that NordVPN's data encryption lets me stream shows and work on video safely while I use public Wi-Fi networks. A lot of people don't know that when you use public Wi-Fi, you always run the risk of having bad eggs out there harvesting very sensitive data from you and selling it on the dark web. But with NordVPN's data encryption and and their NordPass password manager, it's like I have the King Engine itself scaring off those data fiends, keeping my information and passwords as safe as possible. Get started with NordVPN today, and again, make sure to use my link in the description below, and get 4 extra months when you purchase a 2 year plan. Because we've been shown throughout the series that Saitama is still susceptible to some very human, some very basic obstacles that any average human can succumb to, and the first way was actually alluded to us by Black as himself, where just before he decided to take some refuge in with Saitama, he deduces that Saitama is extremely powerful, but also seems kind of empty-minded and unaware of a lot of obvious things around him. So in other words, he's stating that Saitama can be straight up outsmarted and potentially controlled that way. We also see this in the Monster Association arc, where instead of Saitama being available for the massive battles that are going on in the surface, he's wasting time underground with Flashy Flash trying to find a way to get out. Well, let's assume we're at the end of the series right now where God and his strongest disciples are pushing out their final plan to take over the earth or whatever God's end goal is. If they're aware of Saitama and his immense strength, their main objective would be to try to trick him into sealing himself away or taking himself away from the main battle. Think of this like how Gojo in JJK was trapped inside that prison realm. Again, in his case, no one is able to match his strength, so the roundabout way of defeating him is to render him immobile. Well, Saitama doesn't have to get necessarily trapped within a prison realm or something for him to be defeated, but it could be something as simple as him getting sent somewhere far away, much like how Garo did with his Gamma Ray Burst, or keep him occupied long enough for the bad guys to do their business and do some real damage. Going back to Garo versus Saitama, this whole concept was put on full display after Garo's Gamma Ray Burst sent Saitama flying, long enough to where Garo straight up killed everybody with his cosmic radiation and even managed to tear out Genos' core. And this actually brings us to the second way that Saitama can be defeated in the series, and that's literally by him defeating feeding himself. We saw in the fight between Saitama and Garo that after he witnessed Genos' death, Saitama literally lost his humanity and didn't care about anything anymore, seeing as how he was fully willing to unleash a serious punch against a copied serious punch from Garo that would most certainly destroy the entire planet. Saitama didn't bat an eye at that point, so the key here for future villains would be to get Saitama worked up so hard by getting rid of Genos or doing something that gets him so upset that he no longer holds back any of his strength and the result 
resulting aftermath of all the damage he's doing actually destroys everything around him. Imagine a scenario where, let's say, God's group of villains, let's use them as an example again, find a way to do exactly what Garo did and take out Genos right in front of Saitama. Well, now imagine the scenario where when Saitama is about to throw a massive serious punch to take out his enemies, Blast is not there to teleport him outside into space. The result of that blow would most certainly destroy the vast majority of the planet. Seeing as how Saitama would not be paying any attention as to whether or not he's aiming that punch towards the ground instead of towards the sky like he did against Boros. Saitama is known to be pretty narrow-minded, so I think the whole idea of him being outsmarted or tricked into defeating himself in some way is very, very possible. A third way to defeat Saitama that is also very possible, but much less likely in my opinion, is by feeding him a bad hot pot. And for those of you that didn't leave after me stating that just now, let me explain. Again, going back to Garo's fight against Saitama, Garo points out that although Saitama is extremely durable from the outside, his insides must be like any regular human. Well, although Garo's attempt to take advantage of this idea doesn't really turn out, I do believe that this is genuinely a weakness that Saitama does have that still hasn't been cleverly exploited. Although this is made to be more of like a comical scene and more than likely not meant to make any big reveals or subtle hints as to Saitama's weaknesses, we see in the anime that when Saitama and Genos are out to eat ramen, there's a ramen eating competition that awards a ton of money if you can eat a ton of ramen. Well, Saitama attempts to do this and he taps out before he can finish, making it pretty obvious that Saitama's stomach and his capacity to eat is just like any other person. He's not like Goku or something where he can eat as much as he possibly wants and never seem to get full. This is pretty clear evidence in my opinion that Saitama has relatively human organs. He might have much more durable bones and skin and things like that, but there hasn't been any clear evidence that his insides are any more durable than any average human, meaning there is a very real possibility that Saitama is susceptible to being poisoned in some way or being tricked into ingesting food that has some kind of sleeping agent in it or something that completely puts him out for a good while, which would then give the bad guys enough time to build a contingency plan or take someone hostage, do something to where Saitama has to give himself up and be defeated in that way. Another YouTuber that does some great One Punch Man content zone in actually laid out a very interesting way in which this is going to happen to Saitama, how he's actually going to be poisoned at the end of the story. I'll drop that in the link below. But what I think is more likely is that he's going to be put to sleep because we actually got a little bit of a hint as to how this could potentially happen in one of the more recent chapters of the manga where members of the Tsukiyomi were able to slip sleeping pills into Fubuki's daily beauty supplements. We find out that they can telekinetically activate these sleeping agents inside of their bodies to go off at any moment. So it makes it very possible that before a major fight happens, Saitama eats dinner or something, eats a hot pot, heads towards the action, and right when he's about to get into a massive battle or defeat the big bat or something, someone is able to telekinetically activate the sleeping agent or the poisoning agent inside of Saitama's stomach that will then render him immobilized. And if they think so far ahead as to do that, they will most certainly have a contingency plan to straight up defeat or even kill him. Saitama is certainly one of the most overpowered and broken characters in all of manga today, but it's pretty interesting to think that something as simple as some bad hot pot is capable of straight up defeating him and may lead to some very serious consequences at the end of the series. But what do you guys think? Do any of these possibilities seem at all possible to you guys? Do you have an even better way to defeat Saitama in mind? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very interested to hear what your guys' thoughts are. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. And this video just made it a little bit better. And I'll see you guys in the next one.